Greetings one and all, and welcome to part 6 of our Decision Theory Lecture Series, where we look at min-max regret, otherwise called minimax regret. So in part 1, we looked at payoff tables, part 2, maximax, part 3, maximin, part 4, herwicks, part 5, Laplace, and now we're at part 6, where we look at min-max regret. There are two steps required to get this process started. First, we must create a regret table. And the two steps for the regret table is, first, identify the best result for each state of nature. So we're looking at our columns. So we want the best payoff for each state of nature. Step two, for each state of nature, which is in our columns, find the absolute difference between the best payoff from that column and every other payoff in the column. Absolute difference means bigger number minus smaller number. It simply says state the difference between the numbers and ignore any negative signs. Leave off any negative signs. No negatives allowed for a regret table. So here we look at our payoff table for the alternatives, alternative countries for choosing our new factory. We're looking at South Korea, Philippines, Mexico, or Jamaica. And the payoffs in this table recognize, re represent costs in millions. So here goes. In our first column, the unfavorable state of nature, we have 19 million, 19.2 million, 22.5 million, and 25 million. Since these figures represent cost, we choose the lowest cost as our best payoff. So for the unfavorable state of nature, we choose 19 million as the best payoff. For average column, we have 18.5 million, 17.1 million, 16.8 million, and 21.2 million. Because the figures are cost, we choose 16.8 million, which is the lowest cost. For favorable column, we have 17.6, 14.9, 13.8, and 12.5. We choose the lowest cost, which is $12.5 million. So that is step one. Choose the best payoff for each state of nature. Now we move on to step two. In step two, we're going to find the absolute difference between each payoff in the column and the best payoff from that column. So let's start as usual with our unfavorable column. So the best figure is 19. That's the lowest cost. So it will be the lowest figure in this column. So we're going to subtract 19 from every figure or every payoff in this unfavorable column. So for South Korea, we're going to have 19 minus 19, giving 0. For Philippines, we will have 19.2 minus 19, which gives 0 0.2. For Mexico, we have 22.5 minus 19, and that gives us 3.5. And for Jamaica, we have 25 minus 19, which gives 6. Now for our average column. The best payoff in this column was 16.8 million. So it is the lowest figure in the column, and we are going to subtract it from every figure in the column. So we have South Korea, 18.5 minus 16.8, giving us 1.7 million. Philippines, 17.1. Minus 16.8, that gives 0 0.3. Mexico, 16.8 minus 16.8 is 0. 
and Jamaica, 21.2 minus 16.8 is 4.4. Now on to the favorable column. Best figure for this column was 12.5, the lowest cost. So we subtract 12.5 from every figure in the column. South Korea, 17.6 minus 12.5, that's 5.1. Philippines, 14.9 minus 12.5, gives us 2.4. Mexico, 13.8 minus 12.5, gives 1.3. And Jamaica, 12.5 minus 12.5 is 0. So these are our regret figures for this question. Just to interpret these figures a bit. Let's look at the unfavorable column. So we're saying here, if we chose to build our factory in South Korea and conditions turned out to be unfavorable, we would have had absolutely zero regrets. Why? Because the cheapest location under unfavorable conditions is South Korea. If we had chosen Mexico and the conditions turned out to be unfavorable, our regret would be $3.5 million, simply because we would have realized that under unfavorable conditions, it would have been $3.5 million cheaper to build our factory in South Korea. If we, cho we had chosen Philippines and the conditions turned out to be favorable, Right? The best location on the favorable conditions is Jamaica at 12.5 million. So if we had chosen Philippines and the conditions turned out to be favorable, our regret would have been $2.4 million. This is because we would have realized that on the favorable conditions, it would have been $2.4 million cheaper to build our factory in Jamaica. Right, so let's get on to the next step. Step three is to identify the highest regret for each alternative. It's important to remember that the figures in our regret table are neither cost nor profit. They are simply regret. And regret is always bad. So we choose the highest regret regardless of what the original figures were. After choosing the best the highest regret, we now choose the option that has the lowest of those identified in step 3. So here goes. South Korea. Regrets can go as high as 5.1 million. We are looking at 0, 1.7 and 5.1 million. For Philippines, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and the highest is 2.4. For Mexico, Mexico, we have 3.5, 0, and 1.3. The highest is 3.5. Jamaica, 6, 4.4, 0. The highest is 6. For the final decision, we choose the alternative with the lowest regret. Philippines, South Korea, the regret can go as high as 5.1 million. Philippines, the regret can be as high as 2.4 million. Mexico, the regret can be as high as 3.5 million. And Jamaica, the re regret can be as high as $6 million. So our choice, of course, will be Philippines, with the lowest of those regrets, which is $2.4 million. And this is our min-max regret technique. Let's try this again. This time, we're looking at a profit table. And we want to choose the alternative that suits us best in meeting our capacity requirements. Options available, new plant, subcontracting, overtime, or do nothing. Step 1. Identify the best payoff for each column. So, as usual, we'll start with the first column. Unfavorable state of nature. So, on the unfavorable, we have a loss of 300,000 
a loss of 20,000, a loss of 10,000, and zero, which is neither a loss nor a profit. The best result here is zero. It is better to lose nothing than to actually losing money. So our best result for unfavorable state of nature is zero. Average state of nature. We have $240,000. $90,000, $60,000, and zero. The highest profit of those is $240,000. For the favorable column, we have $350,000, $180,000, $110,000, and zero. And the highest profit there is $350,000. So step one is complete. We have identified the best results for each column. Next, we move on to step two. Find the absolute difference between the best figure from the column and each other figure in the column. Because these figures are profits, the best figure is always the highest one. So we will be subtracting each figure in the column from the highest profit identified. So let's start with the unfavorable column. We have zero, which is the best, minus 300,000 for new plant. Zero minus negative 300 gives us positive 300,000. Two negatives make a positive. For subcontract, we have zero minus negative 20, and that gives positive $20,000. Over time, zero minus negative 10, which gives $10,000. And for do nothing, it's zero minus zero, zero. Average state of nature. The best result there is $240,000. For build new plant, we have 240 minus 240, which is zero. Subcontract, 240 minus 90 is $150,000. Overtime, 240 minus 60 is $180,000. And for do nothing, it's 240 minus 0, which gives $240,000. The favorable column. The best in this column is $350,000. Build new plant, 350 minus 350, 0. Subcontract, 350 minus 180 gives $170,000. Overtime, 350 minus 110 gives $240,000 and for do nothing, 350 minus zero gives $350,000. So we now have our regret figures for this column. And just for a quick interpretation, if conditions turned out to be average and we had chosen to subcontract, our regret would be $150,000 simply because we would have recognized that on the average conditions, we could have increased our profit to $240,000 if we had chosen to build a new plant. All right, so our regret table is ready. Now we want to choose the highest regret for each alternative. Build new plant, 300, zero, zero. The highest figure there, $300,000. Subcontract, 20, 150, 170. The highest of those is $170,000. Overtime, 10, 180, 240. The highest of which is 240,000. And for do nothing, we have 0, 240, 350. The highest of these, $350,000. Now, last step says, choose the alternative with the lowest regret. So build a new plant. Regret can go as high as $300,000. Subcontract. Regret can only go as high as $170,000. Overtime. Regret can go as high as $240,000. And do nothing or regret could go as high as, as, high as $350,000. Of these, the lowest is $170,000, which means that we would have chosen to subcontract under the min-max regret criteria. 
as usual, we say practice until perfection is achieved. And we note that, as Fernand Point says, perfection is a lot of little things done well. Walk good. Please subscribe, please like. And our next video will be part 7, which looks at the expected monetary value. All the best. Take care.